open source, do it yourself, three D printed uh, wearable device for the client. And it's powered by machine learning, deep learning, and a set of unique algorithms. We popularly know in marketing parlance as AI. A camera, then uh, solar sensors, more conducting speakers, and it's a wearable computer. Vision AI glasses activated. Now enabling seeing with sound mode. 7.5 feet. 2.2 feet. Navigation mode activated. Quick press anytime to go back. A moment please. A person standing in front of a mirror posing for the camera. Distance is 6.7 feet. Processing. Please wait. Four object. From top to bottom. Left to right. Wall. Floor. Ceiling. Window. Processing. Distance is 21 inches. Nobody's in front of you. Two object. Keyboard. Dead center. Laptop. Dead center. Navigation mode deactivated. OCR mode activated. A moment please. OCR processing is now complete. A text file and an image will now be emailed to you. The text output will also be read out to you in the next few seconds. Quick press to read per line. Hold press to quit. You do will Ionis would sell the big post once I ever heard among other things. He had been up in a mail plane sir. One time recognition mode activated. Processing. 1000 Philippine peso banknote. And we want more of them to start developing our technology. I'm Mark Smarenzo, I'm from the Philippines, and I'm completely blind. Now I'd like to show you my development setup for a 3D perception device that I'm creating for blind users like myself. So here it goes. This is the BW1097 board, and I connected a GPIO extender cable and a Flick Zero electric field gesture control board. I also connected this tiny Bluetooth speaker. So now, here's my Windows laptop. I'm connected to the board via VNC and SSH. And right now, I'll be rebooting the board. So this is my terminal and I'm rebooting it now. Okay, so it's rebooting and I'll just turn on this Bluetooth speaker again. Okay, it's now ready to pair. And it's connected, so let's go to VNC and connect. Okay, so now it's starting. And this is what the board sees. It has three cameras. Okay. Okay. Some sort of monitor, also steps away. Okay. Six o'clock, first, steps away. Okay, so I'll just turn this off. And that's it. So as you've heard, and as you see now, this uh, board that I'm developing can detect objects, classify them, and it can also inform users about the clock face locations of objects and its distance in number of steps. Plus, there's this flash sound that informs them the scene is currently being processed. Also, there's a panning beep sound to quickly inform them about the location of the object. So, if the object's at the left, the sound will pan from right to left. And it'll pan from left to right if it's at the right, of course. But if it's at the center, then it won't pan at all. And the clock face directions are 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, to 10 o'clock, then dead center. So I want to develop this into a wearable prototype. Something that can be strapped somewhere at the chest or even as a pair of 3D printed glasses. And I'm developing this for blind users like myself. Thank you. Voice over on. Camera. Stop re When I started uh, learning all about artificial intelligence, I recognized the opportunity to create devices for 
people like me. I was not a victim of census violence. This blinded me permanently in 2003. I wasn't able to find any employment opportunities here. So I decided to run a business. It's uh, very difficult for blind people to access information. They can try, they can do it. Uh, I've done it. 